How's it going, everybody? Mad Monkey 661 here, bringing you some Pokemon Soul Silver. Now, I had talked to you guys previously about me bringing this to you guys, and um, I hadn't really heard many responses from you guys, but I kind of took it upon myself to just bring it out because honestly, Pokemon is one of my beloved games. I fucking love Pokemon to death, and I thought to myself, what else could I, what other game should I really start off with but Soul Silver? Because this was actually my very first Pokemon game I personally bought myself. Um, but again, I am slightly lying when it comes to that because I also bought Pokemon Platinum, which I'm hoping to bring to the channel after I bring this one out. But I will be doing a full playthrough of Pokemon Silver and through uh, from beating the Elite Four to beating the Elite Four of the Kanto region and then we go to Pokemon Platinum even though I feel like we're going backwards this is what I'm gonna do and we're going to be playing every DS game available for that Pokemon brought out so I'm all the way from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, which I'll just play Platinum, all the way to Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, which I will still have to determine what I want to play out of those two. So, without further ado, let's just get into the game. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Well, that's normal. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Well, that's why the title is called Pokemon. Hey, look, Meryl. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. And at times we play together and other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, obviously, I'm a girl. No, I'm kidding. Or am I? I don't know. I'll go with a male character this time around because I did play as a female character when I played through on my soul silver and I shall call myself minigun now the reason I call myself minigun is because people use that as a nickname for me on Xbox Live And, uh, my favorite weapon is the minigun, so there is a little bit of a history with me in that back, uh, that name. Now, if only we could kind of brush this up a little bit. No adventure. Alright. I'm sorry, I just really like skipping that part. It takes way too long. Alright, here we go. And just so you guys know, I actually have no idea exactly uh, how to pause my game or anything like that so besides not knowing how to close the game uh, close well mainly get to my start <sighs> didn't mean to do that to hurry up my text I'm now going to have to slightly learn as we go here okay well I found what activates that's X uh, um, okay so I have found A and B and I found start um, hmm 
I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is going to be an interesting playthrough if I cannot uh, pause by any point, so... Hi, Minigun. You're finally awake. Well, of course. Friend... Leia? I don't even remember how to say her name anymore. Was just here. She's playing hide and seek with her marrow. I almost forgot our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. No where the Pokemon Lab is, yes. Yes, may I just go, Mother? I need to go. I am a Pokemon trainer. I must, you know, do things and... Oh, yeah, there's... That's right. There wasn't a, um... Well, yeah, there wasn't a start menu. Start menu was on the bottom half of the screen, so that kind of... It's been a while since I've played this game, so I do apologize, you guys. I don't mean to seem very noobish, but uh, it has been a while. And even though Pokemon is one of my favorite games, there are sometimes I just forget about the smallest of things. Uh, and we had Meryl run up to us right there. But uh, let me just go into my options real quick. Uh, needs to be fast. Uh, confirm. Yeah, that's, we're not really going to worry about uh, the little things. Okay. Um, hopefully, the uh, frame rate will catch up with me I'm not trying to stay behind here but um who are you looking at well then I just kicked out of the corner that apparently I was not wanted in either way let's go get our boat first Pokemon which I'm not gonna lie to you I completely forget if we get now or after we run a task, but I'm pretty sure we get it now, and I have no idea what I'm going to name him. Or her, because there's a 50-50 chance of these Pokemon being fi me uh, male or female. So... Hmm... Actually, I know exactly what I will call my Pokemon, and uh, even though this seems like a complete, uh, does not come up to a complete shock to you, I will be grabbing Totodile. Now, I love Totodile, fucking one of my favorite Pokemon, especially when it came to the anime, he was extremely hyperactive. And the name we're going to give Totodile shall be funny. Or at least I find it funny because this is what I named him in my uh, playthrough when I played about several months ago. Maybe almost a couple years ago now. We shall call him... Slipstream. Yes. Now, I'm not going to be playing this like a Wonderlock or anything, just due to the fact that for a Wonderlock, um, it would end up becoming one of a bigger hassles for me. Because, of course, you guys know I would need to be grinding every time one of my Pokemon dies. And, um, because you know in a Wonderlock, a Pokemon technically dies if it faints. There's no resets, no nothing. That Pokemon that may have passed out is now technically dead. Now you can choose one of two things to do. 
which is of course release him back him or her back into the wild or uh, put him in a PC in a box labeled dead or whatever you want to label it so you pick the total dial that's a cute Pokemon you have but um like I said I don't think I'll do a wonder lock for this one maybe I will I'm still 50 50 about it I'm not gonna lie I I've never uh, attempted a wonder lock and it's one of those things that's like piquing my curiosity because I've seen the wonder locks are actually fairly fun and um, you guys if by any chance you're hearing music in the background as I talk please don't flag this video because let me just explain to you guys I have family over right now and now they feel like listening to music and uh, I, I just want you guys to be understanding that I'm not trying to uh, have you guys you know listen to music that I'm not trying to play it just so happens this person decides to want to play music while I'm doing a recording uh, so I really can't tell him to turn it off because you know this guy my brother has been working so hard lately that I'd rather not bother him with telling him to just turn down his music so uh... I do apologize if you hear music in the background, not my intentions. Uh, so, we're just going to try and skip through all of this. Um, now, again, like I said, I'm still 50 50 about um, my Wonderlock right now. I did say I didn't want to do it, but I'm kind of starting to dig the feel of it. Now, the only thing that would make it worse is that uh, I were to lose my Pokemon right now off in the beginning and then I would truly be fucked um, but I want you guys to give me your honest opinion like what do you think of the um, straight up and down uh, feel of how the capture is because right now I can't say that I'm digging it I'm it feels kind of awkward to me, in all honesty. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm highly considering getting rid of uh, the up and down way and going to a vertical. Or horizontal? No, vertical. No, that's what I'm in currently. Sorry, you guys. I'm having the worst mind freak in the world right now. I haven't had much sleep lately. I've been out of it. Um, but, yeah, I'm thinking about doing maybe side-by-side. -side, having the uh, menu over to the left side or right side. If that's uh, potentially possible. Um, well, then didn't think I was gonna get into a fight this early on hey look it's Pidgey hi Pidgey I have a total dial to shove down never mind <laughs> uh, you guys gotta understand I love Pokemon I get so hyped up about it if I were to lose just one Pokemon while I'm in the middle of a battle especially when it comes to a gym battle oh god You'll never hear me say the, like, you'll never hear the end of it when it comes to me. Because I feel like I've done everything in the world right, and then to have my Pokemon faint on me kind of brings me down, so, it, and bringing me down, it also annoys me and make me go a little bit crazy. Like, I think it's the first battle you have with your rival in any game. I actually try so hard not to lose that main battle because I feel so bad that I you shouldn't be able to you know lose that particular battle 
So this guy comes up to us. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. I'd like to. Ah, if you'd like, I can teach you a few things. All right. Okay, then follow me. Okay. Let's. And of course, I forgot about this. Oh, sorry. I forgot that I'm wearing. Ah, you weren't wearing running shoes. I'll try to slow down, uh, slow, ah, try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. Okay. <laughs> so, Grandpa over here can run like a Sanic at any moment he wants, so. Apparently, I'm surprised he's not collecting some uh, fucking golden rings right now. With how much he's running. Look at this. Doop, 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 doop. Is he about to take me in a big ass circle? I believe so, the last I remember. Yep. Look, I'm telling you, he's Sanic right now. He's going up, down, and around. He looks like Sonic sometimes. Only thing we're missing is some chili cheese dog quotes. And he's off screen. Who are we chasing? I don't know. He keeps going off screen. Well, not anymore because he is apparently in screen and we have no problem here. Okay. Okay, so we have been given the running shoes. Not gonna lie to you guys. Okay, found B. Okay, uh, right now we should definitely heal up. Uh, rather heal up and be safe. Rather be safe than sorry. Alright, so I found the A button and the B button. That is a good thing. I do apologize if it seems very laggy to anyone. Um, I'm also noticing it myself, but I believe that's because my CPU is getting pretty warm. It's at a uh, 36%. Uh, at 37, it it's been jumping up. Honestly, it goes up and down. Maybe the CPU has something to do with it, but I'm sadly not able to see the CPU temperature right now. I forgot to download a program to be watching my CPU temperature in case I end up needing to, you know, potentially upgrade the computer a little bit or wait until I have a gaming computer to bring you these kind of gameplays because I'd rather not have you guys staring at the screen being a whole lot more confused than you are right now, wondering why the frame rate is so bad. And what have we run into now? It's another Pidgey. The male Pidgey. I still haven't even looked if I have a female. Nope, I have a male total dial. Interesting. I apologize if you still see my mouse on the screen in the lower thing that's right hand side. It's a uh, thing that I found the A and the B button for the game. I'm now not going to use my mouse. Because, of course, logic and laziness. I do apologize about the music. I will keep saying that until. I stop this recording, or at least until I get the egg to the person I'm supposed to deliver it to. I will probably stop my recording just to make sure that uh, there is uh, hopefully no music in the background. If there is, I'm just going to end up re-recording this, which of course will be a pain, but I'd rather bring you guys quality uh, gameplay and not be hearing Spanish music in the background even though it's not the normal typical 
Spanish music. So, what is this guy doing, or what is he trying to tell me? Yes, I'm trying to go to Mr. Pokemon's house. Uh, no, I do not have any apricorns. I knew you could make Pokeball, Pokeballs and other things with them. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, the uh, apricorn box... I forgot this person gives it to us. I'm not gonna lie. I'm slightly out of it right now. So let's just pick this tree real quick. It is a green apricot. So let's venture forward into the adventure of running into another Pokemon. Not gonna lie to you guys, it does get annoying at some point when, uh, you're playing and uh, a random oh no well let's see how long I can survive just stay at 9 HP until I go any lower than that I'll just use a potion I'm telling you this would be a shame if I were to die right now because I would have to catch a complete new Pokemon, and I'd rather not. So let's just get out of here. Okay, okay, hold on. We're not going to be playing this game today. We are going to give this Totodile some help. Uh, we're not going to let this man die. That is the last thing I'm going to let this total dial do. Alright, total dial. Let's go. Run away, total dial. Go. And we only made it about halfway. Oh, but it's something different that could poison us as well. That's the up and a down. It, it is weaker, so potentially one shot kill. Water gun. And I want you guys to know, I know that these are not any of these Pokemon's weaknesses. But sometimes you get a lucky shot like I do, and you can knock them out in just one shot. Sometimes you're not lucky, but you never know. So let's just, uh, run! Hey, look, it's Mr. Pokemon's house. Hey, look, it's Professor Oak as well. And, of course, this man takes a sweet-ass time after going to a cabinet. I have obtained a mysterious egg. So... I'm trying to comprehend what I just did, because I'm not gonna lie. It has been a while since I've played this game. What it seems like is that I did just come all the way over here to pick up an egg. I honestly thought I had the egg on me. Um, so, yeah. Here comes Professor Oak. Just like an old man. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So, you're Minigun. Yes, I am. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. Sounds fun. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Sounds cool. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Well, he's not rare. Y you know, you can find him as a starter. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm. Yes. It was his research. I think I understand why Pro Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. But of course. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? Okay. See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data, uh, data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. High-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. 
Minigun has received Pokédex from Professor Oak. Complete the Pokédex, but I've stayed too long. I have to g get the Golden Rod for my usual radio show. Minigun, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. But of course, it's not like I'm not going to go to the Kanto region after I beat the Elite Four. Even though I'm pretty sure I'll get an ass whooping when I get over there. Well, see a Pokemon Professor, Mr. Pokemon. And Professor Elm, you have the best timing in the world. The disaster, it's terrible, oh no. Get back here now. Okay then. No, I didn't mean to call my mother. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Thank you, mother. Time to, uh, run. We need to run. We do not need to encounter Pokemon. We need to run. Uh. <laughs> so. Let's just water gun this and get out of here quickly. Um. I have thought also about doing a randomizer. For, uh. the encounters of Pokemon we find. Don't know how that will play out, seeing that I could very easily find legendaries. Uh, but of course it would be a wonder randomizer Nuzlocke. That would be the oddest combination of uh, things to do, but uh, you never know. I'm still 50-50 on anything I do beyond this point, because I am still very, very fresh into the game. I could do anything at this point. <clears throat> but of course, I'm going to end up having to upload this as of this moment. It just does not matter what I do. This video now must be uploaded, so you guys have a part one to kind of see where I was thinking and what I was thinking about doing, so that the rest of the episodes after this isn't as dull, do I want to say? But again, let's just try and uh, get out of here. Let's grab that. I found an antidote. Yes, an antidote that only cures poison, which normally none of my Pokemon ever receive when I play through a Pokemon game. So we'll just keep following the logic and believe that my Pokemon will get poisoned. So I think we will end up stopping when we fight our rival right about here. Yes, right there. Wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so you want to battle with me. Okay. Don't know what I'm going to call you yet. I'm still thinking asshat. Ah, so you pick the weakness to me. Hmm. This is going to be a very painful game. <sighs> I'm actually kind of happy that that Poke that Chikorita does not have any grass moves yet. Um, or else I would be fucked right now. But right now is pure button smashing. Until Chikorita dies. And for you guys who may be asking, why don't I speed this up? I don't have a key that's assigned to speed up yet. Again, like I said, I just downloaded this program yesterday. And I'm first using it now today. Like, I started up the game yesterday to see if it would run perfectly fine, so... Um, this is 
just all pretty much new at this point. And again, also, if it comes down to will I be playing Pokemon X and Omega Ruby on here, that's unknown as of this moment. Just due to the fact that there is no 3DS emulator currently out, or at least any legitimate ones. Uh, to my knowledge, but if by any chance you guys do know one that's legitimate, or there's one in maybe like a beta stage, then let me know about it, and um, I'll try it out. But again, let's just uh, have him leave. Um... What? Give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. Well then, yes, I know your name, but apparently you didn't want to say it. So, you guys, I'm going to stare at you with my character and say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely know I did. Um, I just hope you guys uh, will enjoy the series. I will be doing it all the way through. This is going to be one of the more lengthy videos I have, so I'm apologizing right now in advance. This will be a lengthy game. I apologize. I'm sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and more Pokemon videos coming out soon, hopefully. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you have a good day. Enjoy my videos. If you wish, I don't know how well they're going to turn out, but hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Mm.